Hello all, welcome back to No Bullshit. Today MTV News is back at it again with its regressive propaganda videos. This time we're watching How Toxic Masculinity Feeds Rape Culture. Let's get started. We have a serious sexual assault problem in the United States. I'm not sure we really do. I'm not inclined to trust MTV News anymore, and I'm not hearing this anywhere else. Sounds like the real problem here is MTV is trying to be more like HuffPost and BuzzFeed, making these shitty SJW videos based on misinformation and lies. It's disgusting. One of the reasons why, toxic mess the reason why America has this problem you made up is this other problem you made up. Got it. By the way, you'll quickly find out that when they say toxic masculinity, they just mean masculinity. Doing anything manly is toxic to these sexist man-haters. Now let's be clear. Masculinity is not inherently a bad thing. What's bad is when society tells us that being a man means things like strength and power at the expense of being allowed to really feel things. When does society teach us these lessons? I must have missed masculinity class that day. Look, I know there are implications about masculinity out there in society, just like there are for femininity, but we don't have to fall in line with everything society tells us to do. Guys can dress like girls. Girls could cut their hair short. These pressures aren't that bad. They're just there. If you had some fucking balls, you would know that, you big black cuck. One more point about this part. The guy says strength and power are greater than feelings, like it's wrong or a bad thing to say. Sounds pretty spot on to me. I would much rather be strong and powerful than have feelings. Don't get me wrong, love and friendship and family are great, but strong and powerful is going to win over feelings every time. Imagine your favorite male protagonist. Is he cold and aloof? Hardened? Brooding? Does he scowl? Make dark jokes in the face of danger? Well, this is our cultural ideal of manhood. Apparently, the only male protagonists MTV could come up with here were white ones. All the pictures used in this video are of white people, actually. You know, because they're talking about negative things like toxic masculinity and rape culture. You can't put black people pics up for that. In this day and age, black people can't do anything wrong. And when they do, it's usually the white man's fault anyway. It gets worse when anything that society deems feminine, like having feelings, gets pegged as a threat to manhood. The worst thing a manly man can do is act like a woman. I agree. The worst thing a manly man can do is act like a woman. Just like the worst thing a womanly woman can do is act like a man. What's your point here? This isn't a gross, horrible, bad thing. Men and women act differently. Get over it. Side note, this is also why toxic masculinity is super homophobic. Oh! Sure, let's throw some homophobia in here too. Why the fuck not? Because you know all white guys are homophobic, right? DeAndre Levy of the Detroit Lions wrote recently, quote, it's truly astounding how many awful things that occur in this world because men are afraid of appearing weak. Okay, another point that just seems random and unrelated. Yes, men don't want to appear weak at work. And these are fucking football players. Of course they don't want to appear weak. Levy notes that in locker rooms, power is measured in sexual conquests dehumanizing women in the process. I'm sorry, MTV, but sexual conquests are good measurements of power and skill. Getting laid isn't easy for men. I'm sorry you think it dehumanizes women when men talk about having sex with them. But don't you know women do the same thing? Women probably talk about the details of their relationships more than men. We're so caught up in these toxic ideas that a woman granting her affirmative consent to sex, well, that too often becomes secondary to our needs. No, no it doesn't, you cuck bastard. Consent isn't secondary to men's needs. We we know not to rape. Consent is secondary to rapist needs. Let's put that in the context of American colleges and universities, where sexual assault has become an epidemic. Reported sex crimes increased 126% from 2001 to 2013. You know what else has gone up in that time? Falsely reported sex crimes. I think they're related. College is a petri dish for bad ideas about sexual behavior, a place that often magnifies toxic conceptions of masculinity. Too many men learn in college to view women as things to be aggressively obtained, to be conquered, to be used for our enjoyment and pleasure. That's just part of what we know is rape culture. All the ideas and beliefs that make people think sexual violence is acceptable. Rape culture. Rape fucking culture in America. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. No one thinks it's okay to rape here. People aren't teaching their children to rape. There's no fucking rape culture in America. If you want rape culture, go to South Africa, where people there believe that sex with a virgin will cure AIDS. People are raping fucking babies over there on the daily because they think it'll cure their disease. That's rape culture. Frat boys doing keg stands and trying to get laid is not fucking rape culture. Rape culture includes the misogynist images we're fed in popular culture, where male violence is depicted as sexually alluring and something that enhances the protagonist's manhood. I don't think violence is always made alluring. Jesus, you gotta look up every fucking line with these MTV people. It's so much bullshit. Toxic masculinity, when you think about it, is very selfish. A lot of that is 
about entitlement. We're entitled to a voice, entitled to a job, entitled to sex. All these things we're told we deserve because we're guys. I must have missed that day in masculinity class too. Who told us to be entitled? Who told us we deserve these things? No one. I'm not saying there aren't entitled people out there. I know there are. But MTV is blaming masculinity and implying that only men are entitled. Not true at all. We've got to unlearn that stuff. Basically, toxic masculinity has screwed us guys up. Don't worry, buddy. I don't think any masculinity made it into your veins. You're fine. Anger, violence, and entitlement are not admirable qualities. And coming to grips with that is the first step in understanding that ending sexual assault is our problem to solve, too. That's quite a leap you're taking from toxic masculinity to ending sexual assault. You're also conveniently leaving out sexual assault by women. It happens. So how do we solve this? This should be good. How do we detox? Hold friends accountable and intervene when you see harassment or assault. This point is okay, a little obvious. Of course we would speak up if we saw an assault. I just don't think they happen in public that often. Listen to survivors and believe them when they speak up. If you don't, it has a chilling effect for others who have experienced sexual assault. Listen and believe survivors. Listen and believe. Not accusers, survivors. Because no one has ever lied about rape before, except with the Duke lacrosse team or the Mattress Girl. Read and understand legislation that's addressing the problem, including a bill called the Campus Safety and Accountability Act. I feel like you're trying to teach us not to rape. We already know rape is bad. Rapists know it's bad too. They just don't care. Your re-education is not helping. And most of all, learn about and practice affirmative consent, which means all parties in sexual activity communicating an explicit yes. And when one person's mental state is impaired because they're drunk or high, there is no consent. <laughs> Oh God, there is no consent when you're drunk or high. You heard it here, folks. Anyone on any drug of any kind cannot consent and thus are being raped when they have sex. No, dude, just, just no. People can get stoned and then have consensual sex. Drunk people can have sex. It's not all rape. Wow, that was a rough one. These MTV News idiots really take bullshit to a new level. Thanks for watching No Bullshit again, everybody. We'll see y'all next time.